George Hobson is a landowner who enjoys farming, but also the wildlife on his property, especially quail. If you get up in the morning and you hear quail singing and it doesn't make your heart lift, you've missed out on a big part of what life really is. Hobson doesn't farm fence row to fence row. The edges of his fields instead support plants that provide food and cover for quail. Emu Extension Wildlife Specialist Bob Pierce says over the past three decades, northern bobwhite quail populations declined by 70 percent. It's a heritage that we're losing and unfortunately uh, with the demise of bobwhites and other uh, upland birds like bobwhites, we've lost that tradition or we will over time. Pierce and other Emu Extension Specialists developed wildlife management techniques farmers can use. Landowners who want quail don't have to sacrifice productivity or spend a lot of money. For so long, we went against each other. Conservation was on one side, ag and was on the other, and they really couldn't meet in the middle. And we have shown here at the Bradford Research Center that that can happen. Reinbod says the techniques work because quail numbers are on the rise at the MU Research Farm. Farmers can also get paid to improve quail habitat on their property. Government programs will pay landowners to convert underperforming cropland into buffers suitable for quail. You know, landowners may only own 10 or 15 acres or even be a larger farmer that might own two to 300 acres. It doesn't matter, each can play a role in being good stewards for the wildlife resource. Hobson wouldn't have it any other way. The quail are part of his landscape. Hearing Bob White quail call in the morning and the evenings, and seeing them flying around on the property is a tremendously rewarding thing. From the University of Missouri, I'm Kent Faddis reporting.